The Shure SM7B is one of the best vocal microphones you can get for your recording studio. Find out why and if it's the right fit for your setup. So this isn't your typical cardioid dynamic microphone. It has a smooth, flat, wide range frequency response perfect for both music and speech, but it's more commonly used for spoken word. For example, popular radio hosts like Robin Quivers on The Howard Stern Show and podcasters like Joe Rogan use the SM7B as their microphone of choice. It's even been used to record vocals on Michael Jackson's Thrill album. Designed with stability and ease of use in mind, the mic is firmly held in place with an adjustable bracket so you can accurately position it without fear of bumps and scrapes. In addition to this, the internal air suspension shock isolation system, which is the frame that holds everything into place, eliminates mechanical noise transmissions. Other mics, like the Samsung C01, need a shock mount to stop things like floor vibrations or handling noises. So let's hear what it sounds like by switching over now. So there isn't a huge difference at the moment as I'm recording in a sound booth, but you'd notice otherwise. For example, if I were in a room that wasn't soundproofed, then you would be able to hear slight echoes and reverbs. So what do you think? How does the Samsung C01 sound? So now switching back over to the SM7B no. So the SM7B comes with two windscreens. Both are designed to reduce plosives like popping sounds, but the larger one is apparently a bit better for up close talks. Personally though, there's not a huge difference as both do a pretty good job. Microphones often have low level humming noises caused by computers or other electrical devices, but the outer shielding protects against any electromagnetics to leave you with a cleaner sound. One slight downside is it requires a lot of gain as the output signal is minus 59 dB, so recordings may sound too faint to hear if you're using a low powered audio interface or mixer. To get it to line, you need to amplify the signal to 0 dB. One way to do this is by using a mic preamp like the Cloud Lifter or one from Simply Sound. Alternatively, you can boost the audio signal in post production. On the back are switchable response controls which allow you to change the input signal processing for your specific needs. For instance, the bass roll-off essentially removes low frequency humming, presence boost adds vibrance and volume to the signal, and finally, flat which is ideal for spoken word and narration. The SM7B uses a cardioid pickup pattern, which means off-axis sounds are ejected for better sounding audio and it records sounds from the front and not so much from the sides or rear. Plus, the large diaphragm delivers an excellent flat response for true vocal reproduction. It's one of the better microphones we've come across as it offers superb, crisp sounds. The best mics are ones that produce a nice, clean signal without post-production. With the SM7B's flat frequency response and air suspension shock system, you do get a far better vocal reproduction than others out there, so it's definitely one worth checking out. What do you think of the Shure SM7B? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions about this or any other audio equipment, then be sure to contact us at studio at radio.co.